Once more, I am ready to tackle the hardest challenge in all of Spelunky 2. You can't convince me it's not the hardest. It is the toughest challenge you can possibly face. Twofold of high score plus 799. It's just truly an insane situation to be facing. And only absolute crazy people like myself are going to be attempting it. Welcome, welcome, ladies, gents, and all of you determined, foolish idiots that don't know any better. I am uh, going to make it happen. Whether it takes one day, it takes one month, it takes one year, it takes the rest of my life, I might die at this keyboard and not be able to accomplish it. But ugh, did I try? I tried my absolute hardest, and at least I look go in the annals of history as the absolute idiot that will not let go of his dream. And at least I can be inspirational for all those other equally frustrated losers that will never accomplish anything of worth. Look at that, even saved this cat. Truly a hero of the ages has stepped into this land Nothing but wonderful things will happen. All right, we got a Ujarai that is right at the exit. They're very nice. This pleases me. I am in the business of min-maxing my capabilities. That is why this cat is going to make him, make him there. I used to call him Vigo. Now he is nothing but Nicolas Cage. This face reminds me 100% of that meme, thanks to that comment. And now I cannot unsee it. Thank you. Thank you so much for completely altering my perception of uh, this wholesome little creature that reminded me of my beautiful long departed cat. A video of which you can still find at the channel at some point when he passed away. Just very, very brief roll the cat video. That cat was the limpest cat you could imagine. He would let you do anything you pleased. I use, I would just flop him, flop him down on the floor, and he would just let you roll him, roll him from one side of the of the room to the other. He was just happy to get the attention. He was like, "This is great. I am happy that I am interacting with my human." Give me that. Give me that torch. It belongs to me. He was. Also, the absolute stupidest cat I've ever owned. Actually, that is not true. Because when I was a kid, my mother, she unfortunately stepped on the head of Blanky, our white cat who will just not cease to weave between her legs whenever she did the laundry out in the, you know, the laundry area. And this cat... She, she warned him. She warned him so many times. There were so many instances where she was like, one of these days, you, you, I'm not going to be able to avoid stepping on your head. And it happened. And, you know, the cat survived. <laughs> but, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the cat survived. But I did not. 